Okay, so hey guys, so today I wanted to film a get ready with me. So right now I have no makeup on. I am getting ready for work. I don't have work till almost four, but I kind of like getting ready before, like right before I have to be ready. It's only 12.50 right now. So by the time I'm ready, it's going to be like 1.50. It usually takes me an hour tops to do my makeup. Um, so I like just starting to get ready before... Uh, so then I can relax a little bit more because like I get very tired so I have to relax a little bit longer than most people do before work but there are some days where like I go out before work but that really doesn't happen on Sundays so I usually just relax and get ready and then go to work so I'm going to be priming my face with the Smashbox primer water first and I pretty much like to drench myself in that then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. I like using two primers when I use the Smashbox just because I just feel like it gives an extra layer and it just feels really nice. And it just melts right into your skin. And actually I was not using this for a while and now I've been on a kick for it. I just really like it. I've been switching off between this and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer like every day. But if I use the regular Photo Finish Primer, then I don't use the primer water because it's basically like the same thing. Okay, I'm just going to let my skin dry a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix together my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the cover at FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. That's the combination I like to use. I'm just going to do that off camera to save some time. Okay, so I just applied it to my face to save some time and I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. And I really, really, really prefer a beauty blender over any brush. It's just like my favorite thing. Especially with this foundation, it makes it so, it makes it really sheer and uh, luminous that way. It's just so beautiful with a beauty blender. And I just washed my beauty blender, so it's like extra bouncy right now. <laughs> I like brushes, but like with my really dry skin, it leaves like dry patches here and here. And it's like nothing ever really blends it out as nicely as the beauty blender does. Okay, I'm just going to conceal with my Urban Decay Naked Skin in light warm, like I always do. Highlight parts of the face. And blend it out with the other side of the Beauty Blender. Make sure you always get those like inner like corners of your nose. That's always the part that tends to get red. So you really want to get that nook right there. And I just like to highlight the cupid's bow part and the chin. But also I do get a little bit of drip of breakouts on the chin sometimes. But I actually just tried um 
one of the lush masks and it was the rose one and it made my skin so clear it's called the rosy cheeks one i highly recommend it it's awesome and then i usually do get breakouts on my forehead but i barely have any right now it really did help my skin a lot so i just always just conceal my forehead too so once we're done with that, we're just going to powder up with, of course, the Laura Mercier Translucent Sunny Powder. I just love the tone of this, and since it has, like, a yellowish beige tone, but it's not that beige, it really, like, gives a beautiful finish on the skin. And I'm just going to use, of course, my Eco Tools Powder Brush to apply it. I really don't need that much. Again, I have dry skin. I just really like the finish that it gives my skin. I just do a very light layer. And then I like to spray my Urban Decay setting spray when I do this because I like the finish that it gives in the end. And it gives like a less powdered look to the whole look. We're gonna go overboard later. Um, and then I like to prime my eyes and I'm gonna use the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I do use the Smashbox a lot more recently, but I do love this one still. And just always work it in with my finger. I really like these because they have a white base and it really makes like your eyes vibrant and like also conceals a little bit. That's why I really like this in the Smashbox. They're my faves. I probably will never use the Urban Decay again. I love it, but these are just like so much better. But the Urban Decay is still a really good one if you decide to spend less money. But the Smashbox is the same price. And then I like just going over again with the Lars. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with my Real Techniques setting brush and just go over the primer. I know I probably don't have to do this, but I just feel like it makes the eyeshadows go on a lot smoother. Okay, and then we're going to jump into eyeshadow. Okay, so of course to start, I am going to go in with my favorite transition shade, and that is Beaches and Cream right here. I think I'm gonna mix Beaches and Cream and, and Peach Smoothie together today because I'm going for more of a like warmer toned eye. So I just want to add an extra amount of warmth to the crease with Peach Smoothie. I always need a mirror for this, like always. I just, I can't see anything. <laughs> so bad. It's just because of the lighting in my bathroom, I just can't see anything. And I'm using a Morphe M433 brush. This has been my favorite brush to use ever since I've gotten it. I love it. But I'm just going to do the same on the other eye off camera. Okay, and then after that, since we have both eyes done, we're going to be going in with a new palette that I got yesterday. This is the Morphe 35O palettes. I did use it yesterday, so this is the second time that I'm using it. And it is so, 
so beautiful like can you see that it's just like so gorgeous so I think I'm going to use more of the like warmer tones here today I just really want to use some of those I did use a substantial amount of the colors yesterday so we're going to be using these colors today so um I think I'm going to start with I think this color is kind of calling to me this yellow color right here Actually, mm, it takes me like 10 million years to figure out what color I want to use. I think I'm going to go in with this color instead right here. I'm going to use that one. It's a really beautiful like orangey shade. And I just need my mirror for that. Sorry, I get very quiet. Just <laughs> make sure I'm blending. Okay, then I'm just gonna do the other eye. Okay, so once we have that down, I just always feel like this is like blurry as hell. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to clean my brush a little bit, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in with this color right here. This color is really pretty for the to define the crease more, that color right there. So with the same brush, and take like the tip of the brush and define the crease. There's always like hair on me somehow. I don't even know where it is. It's driving me nuts. Always make sure you have your eyes open when you do this. <sighs> There's a piece of hair somewhere that is driving me nuts. For some reason, I can't do this today. Well, you see what color I'm using. I'm just going to do it off camera. Okay, so once we have that down, sorry, I just can't see anything. Um, I'm going to take a outer corner color. And I'm going to use the same color I used. Oh, Jesus Christ, everything is going to fall. I really hate my shooting setup. It's just terrible. Um, I'm going to take, I think maybe I'm going to take this chocolatey brown color down here. Yeah, we're going to use that. I was like pushing it into the crease a lot and then just rounding it out. This color is really pretty.
Okay, and I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, I used like the same brush for everything. So like, I used that for the outer corner, from the, for the crease, and for the, um, most of the crease. Basically, that's my crease brush. Now I'm gonna switch to one of my Real Techniques brushes. And I have two of the same brush um, for like the inner corner and for the lid because it's a lot easier just to use two different brushes than to um, use the same brush because obviously it's going to have a darker product on it for the inner corner and the inner corner is like the last thing you do. So for the lid, I'm going to take this color right here, this really pretty um, red color. There's only really like five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven, eight, eight shimmery colors in the whole palette for like really pretty lid shades. I did use that color next to it yesterday, but I really wanted to use like this red shimmery shade today. I think it's so pretty. So I dip my brush in first with the product on it, and then I'm just going to spray it with MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to put that on the lid. Oh, this color is so pretty. I wish Makeup Geek had a foil eyeshadow like this. Because she has a red shade, but it's more like a burgundy, like the Showtime, it's Showtime, which is in my fall makeup tutorial, which I love for the fall. I always go for like the more vibrant colors when I first use a palette because like those are the ones that are just like calling your name. So pretty. Such a gorgeous color. This is definitely like the, one of the more unique colors that they have in the palette. I just don't know why my lighting is so dark today. And now I'm just going to do the other lid. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to be going in with my brow bone highlight, and I'm going to be using, um, I think I'm just going to use the same color I used yesterday, and that's that color up here. Actually, maybe the color next to it. I'm going to use this color right here. And then I'm going to be using this crown concealer brush for the brow bone because I really have been liking flatter brushes for the brow bone. They just work better. It just gets right up on the brow bone. Okay, now we're pretty much done with this palette. And I'm just going to go back in. I think I'm just gonna use this brush right here. It just has no product on it. And blend out whatever needs to be blended out. I'm just using this MAC crease brush. This is such an old brush. Oh yeah. That definitely helps a lot. Honestly, you could sit and blend forever and I still would be satisfied. So yeah, I think that's pretty much good for the eyes. Now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. Um, I'm just gonna clean up my inner corners and do my liner off camera because you guys know I can't do liner to save my life. Um, I'm going to try both of these out because I feel like these are both being dried out and these are my two favorite liners. Obviously this is the Stila Waterproof Liquid Liner and this is the Stay All Day Waterproof. <coughs> Bless me. And the Kat Von D Mad Max Brown Tattoo Liner. So I'm going to see which one works better. 
Okay, so I decided to move down here because I feel like it's just going to be a lot more comfortable for me. So I'm just going to prime my eyes with my Stila Lash Stunner Primer. Everything's on the floor, but whatever. Okay, I'm just going to go in with my Stila Huge Lash Extreme Mascara. and just clean it up with my fingers. Okay, just give me one sec. Okay, now I'm just gonna conceal under the eyes using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I really hope I'm not already running out of this. No, definitely not. There's definitely a lot in there. Because this will probably be the second time that I would actually use this up. And then I'm just going to use the tip of the Beauty Blender. God, everything is easier with a clean beauty blender. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to set it with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I almost forgot to do this step um, with my Real Techniques setting brush. Like, I almost like just went straight to the inner corner, and then I realized I didn't clean up my inner corners that, uh, I almost just went straight to uh, not concealing, which would have been bad. It's definitely my favorite. Like, I never use anything else. I love this powder so much. Um, and then we're just going to coat the bottom lashes. Actually, let's do the inner corner highlight first. I'm going to be using Makeup Geeks in the spotlight. I already put it on my brush because I almost did this step before um, I concealed, like I just said before.
These are my favorite inner corner highlights. I just can't get enough of these foiled shadows. But they're just like, adds such a pop of color to the inner corners that I just love using them. I did try and use a Morphe eyeshadow yesterday from the palette and it just wasn't the same. But I had to go and use my Makeup Geek foiled shadows today. So I definitely wanted to use this color. I just feel like I put way too much sparkle for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes with my MAC Extended Play Kick of Black Lash. I never see anything, I swear. I don't know what this lash is over here. Okay. I really feel like I got like a crap ton on my eye, so I'll be right back. Okay, then I'm just going to contour with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer filter with this color right here. I actually have not been using this as much as the Too Faced Global Contour Kit, but I wanted to use it today. And this like blends out for you, so it's like really, really pretty. I'm using the Bare Minerals Emerald Brush. It's so light though. The Too Faced one is definitely like a lot more pigmented, but I like how this looks. It's one of my faves. And I'm just gonna do the rest of my face with my Real Techniques angled brush. Can't really see, but whatever. Yeah, it looks okay. And then just the jawline. <sighs> and then I like to take it down my neck just to help um, blend out the foundation a little bit more and just add a little bit of color to my neck. Like to make sure that uh, the foundation doesn't look like too oxidized. Okay, and then I like going underneath with the lighter powder under the contour, just to clean it up. Also because it looks really pretty. Just give me one sec. Okay, so I used champagne. Oh, actually, let me do blush first. Um, I'm sorry, this is like the most disorganized get ready with me you've ever seen in your life. So I'm going to be using 
um, the Balm's Hot Mama Blush. I haven't used this in a while. I've just been like going crazy over Wild Honey lately. It's still like my favorite blush ever, but I really wanted to use something different today. And I love this blush too, so. And I thought it looked really pretty with um, the colors I chose on my eyes. I'm just going to use my tapered Eco Tools blush brush. This blush just like goes on. I forgot how pretty this is. Okay, and then for highlight, I'm going to use Anastasia's Pure Hollywood. I used Champagne Pop yesterday, um, but I just wanted to use this today. just wanted something gold. And I'm using the Morphe uh, 501 brush to apply this. Can't see anything. Okay, and then down the nose. I don't know why that I feel like this is like barely applying today. It's like no shimmer. Watch that I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and there's going to be like 10 million pounds of shimmer on my face. Then of course I'm going to finish off everything with the hourglass luminous light powder with my powder tools, with my Eco Tools powder brush. And then give my face a spritz with the Urban Cage Makeup Setting Spray. And then we are pretty much done right now. I'm just going to go fill in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then I'm going to fill in my lips a little bit later because I don't have to work until after 3.30, so, and I usually eat something before work, so I'm just going to fill them in then. Okay, so now to finish off this Get Ready With Me, um, I just primed my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Sign On Pencil in Ozone. Now I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in O Snap. I find that this is a pretty, like, universal pencil to use with dark lips, so I just use this. I think grunge may be too dark for this lip color that I'm using, so I'm just going to fill in my lips. I'll line my lips, obviously.
haven't used like three of the liners yet. I've been using this one the majority. Because I still cannot find my Stark Naked Urban Decay lip liner anywhere. And I'm pissed because that was like my favorite one. And those are 20 bucks. These are only 5 bucks. I might have to repurchase it because but it's so annoying spending $20 on lip liners. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had a hot dog because we didn't have any other food in the house. And I just feel so unhealthy when I decide to eat a hot dog. It's like the most unhealthy food for you. I'm just looking at my bottom lashes and I made them really, really, really long today. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And now I'm going to be going in with a new lip color. I'm going to be going in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Chili Chili. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I did get these ColourPop liquid lipsticks with the um, lippy pencils. And I wore um, Instigator yesterday. That was the other one that I got. And then this is the other one. Um, this one is Chili Chili. This is one of the new ones. And I'm just going to fill in my lips, obviously. It's so pretty, right? The majority of the time, I have color pop on my lips. And it's usually these. Because I have so many of the shades that I always want to use them. Of course, there has to be hair on it. Give me one sec. God, this color is so much darker than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, it takes me like forever and a day to fill in my lips. <clears throat> now we're going to do the top. You do have to re-dip your brush a couple of times with this because it dries so quickly. I mean, not brush, applicator. And I really like wearing like colors like this for like night shifts. I just think they look really pretty. Like I I don't wear these during like day shifts. I wear darker colors 
during night shifts, but oh my god, this color is so gorgeous. I didn't even realize how beautiful this color is. It's probably going to be really similar to Salem with, from Lime Crime that I just ordered, like, um, a few days ago. But this color is so pretty, right? So that'll do for now. I'm just going to go touch it up, probably, because I'm such a perfectionist with my lip colors. And plus, like, my lipstick has been, like, so off lately. I don't know what it is. I'm always, like, overlining the crap out of my lips. And yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's UW819. My Twitter is PokerFace819. And this is the finished look. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye!